Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you the top three reasons why your website might not be displaying correctly when you're viewing it on a mobile device. So you've probably been in this situation where you're testing your website on a mobile device and you have this really annoying horizontal scroll right here with all this empty space. So of course on a mobile device, this is not ideal. This is going to make it where the user can scroll left and right and it's just not a good user experience. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the top three reasons why this might be happening. And I'm going to show you a cool little trick at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. The first one we're going to be covering is any sort of titles or fonts. So let me go ahead and shrink this and show you what's happening. Right here, we have the word wiki design as one word. And watch what happens when I scale this down to like a mobile device, like portrait size. So as you can see, when I get to about here, this is what's causing the horizontal scrolling. So of course, you don't want to have that on mobile. And there's two different ways we can fix this on mobile. So let me go ahead into that page on a mobile device and show you the two different ways. The first one is the easiest and that of course is just change the size of the typography. So if we go and shrink this down to something like this, you can see of course this is what's causing this horizontal bar. So let's just go ahead and right now it's at four rems. So if you're using pixels, whatever it may be, you could just change the size of this and scale it down. So as you can see, when I do that, the, the horizontal is now gone. So of course, if you have it really large, you need to just keep shrinking it until that fits inside of here. Now, if you're in a situation where this is like a dynamic tag or something like that, and you don't want to go ahead and change that size all the time, what you can do is, you know, keep it something larger. Let's say we keep it at the four. And you can use CSS to do something a little bit different. It's not always ideal. It might not always look great. And if you just drop this in, in this case, I'm just using selector. And this is an H2 tag. And I'm just using the CSS called uh, word wrap and then break word. So this is going to go ahead and break that word. So you don't have any weird overflow issues. So depending on your use case, uh, this might be more helpful. But I would say in this situation, just changing the font size is going to be the, the better way. So let's just go ahead and change that. So now if we hit update on this page and go to the front end, you're going to notice that when I do this now, you're not going to have any more horizontal bars. So when I scroll down, everything seems to be working correctly. And the next reason this might be happening is because of your motion effects. So if you look right here, when I scroll down the page, um, you just have this image and it right now it's scrolling off the page to the right. But if you look down here, what it's doing is it's also increasing that horizontal scroll. So if I go right here, you can see that this is clearly going off the page. So this is going to cause a lot of issues on mobile devices. Now this one's really easy to do. There's two different ways you can disable this in Elementor. And if you scroll down here to motion effects, you can see right here, uh, you can disable the effect on mobile portraits. So if you just turn this off, you're going to see that scroll bar disappears. But if you want to go ahead and keep that on for some reason, what you need to do is you can go into the container that it's sitting in. So right here on the right, I'm just selecting the container. And if you go underneath layout and if you go underneath additional options, you can choose overflow hidden. So when you do that, you can see right there, it's going to keep the effect, but you're not going to have the scroll bar right here. So if we go hit update and refresh the page on the front end, you can see the effect is still happening, but we don't have that annoying uh, horizontal scroll. And that's how you can fix the problem if you're using any sort of motion effects. And the third reason this might be happening is because of slider arrows or something along these lines. So if you scroll this page down, you can see right here, this is just using the uh, loop carousel inside Elementor. And when I start to scroll down, watch what happens. These arrows is what's causing the problem. So if I go all the way down to like a mobile device, and if I scroll down, and you hit the inspect tool, you can see right here, this arrow is actually what's causing that overflow problem. And this is a cool little trick. What I like to do is if you go into your inspect element inside Chrome, you can click this button right here. And what I like to do is just kind of hover my mouse to the right side. And then this is going to give you a visual of how wide the screen should be. So everything right here in the blue, is where it should be cut off. And so you can kind of just scroll your mouse down until you find any sort of issues. So in this situation, this was easy to find because the arrow is black. But if you had a situation where the arrow was like white, you wouldn't even visually see it until you can go ahead and you know do something like this and visually see it. So in order to fix this, this is a pretty easy fix. 
And let me jump into the mobile and show you what's causing this issue. So if I jump over into the loop carousel on mobile, underneath navigation, you can see right here what's happening is I'm offsetting this for 30 pixels. So that's what's causing the issue. So if I go ahead and just zero these out, you can see it's going to automatically get rid of those horizontal scroll issues. So you're going to want to make sure that if you're using any sort of slider, or in this case, like a loop carousel, always keep an eye out for these little arrows. I've noticed that this can cause a lot of issues. So if you have any sort of offsetting from desktop, it might carry all the way down to mobile. So that's what I recommend is just bring it where it's inside the viewport and you should be good. So if we go ahead, hit update and hit refresh, you can see the arrows are now inside of here. So as you can see, all three issues have been fixed on this website. And now on a mobile device, you're not getting any sort of weird horizontal scrolling. So let me show you a cool little trick I like to use to visually see if there's anything uh, that could be causing these overflow issues. So as you can see right here, this is the front end of the website after I implemented this little trick. So let me visually show you what is happening so you can see how easy it is to add to your website. So if I, let me scroll this down even a little bit more. So if I go right here, you can see if I start to scroll down the page, what you'll notice is that image that we fixed in step two, you can see that that red outline, you can visually now see that that's what's causing the issue right there. So let me scroll down into here, and this is a really good example. So the one I just mentioned earlier where this is the slider navigation, what I did is I made the arrow white so you wouldn't visually be able to see if this was causing the problem unless you can like you know see a red outline. So let me show you how easy it is with one line of code to add. So if I'm on this page, I just clicked here underneath settings and underneath page settings. You could just throw in this one little line of CSS and what it's gonna do is visually add an outline to all of your different widgets and sections and containers, whatever you wanna call them. And all it is is just, you just use the asterisk right here and you just do outline one pixel solid red and that's it, just hit update. And now on the front end of the website, instead of like doing guesswork and trying to visually you know, use the inspect tool, now you can just use CSS to outline any sort of problems you may have right here. So I highly recommend using this tool if there really is something that is hard to find. Usually it's, you know, if something is like the same color background, that's gonna be really hard to find. So this is a cool little trick that I like to use on the front end. And that's it for this video on how to avoid horizontal scrolling on your mobile devices. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.